Oh. Can I do that? Because honestly, it's my dream come oh, true. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? This is so cool. Okay, can I do like, uh, we're live? Yeah. Like a, okay. We're live. <laughs> Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hi, I'm Travis Kern. I'm running for city council. My name is Roberto Rodriguez, and I'm running for Portland City Council at large. Hi, my name is Victoria Pelletier, and I'm running for city council for District 2. My name is John Hink, and I'm running for city council. So I live in Parkside. Uh, so my district is, a lot of people think it's just the West End. It also includes Parkside, um, Valley Street, parts of St. John Street, and then the Oakdale neighborhood as well. I live in the greatest district in Portland. It's District 2. My district is District 1, up on Monjoy Hill. You're at large though, right? At large, oh yes, every district. Um, I live in North Deering. I'm running for the at-large seat, which represents the entire city. I've met a lot of people, which has been great, um, and we've had really good conversations too. You know, knocking on doors and having individual conversations with voters has been like the ultimate reality check. There are so many interesting people that live in the district, in each of the neighborhoods, and I've been on just about every street. Talking to them on the person to person, you'll find that there's not exactly as much nimbyism as a lot of people are scared of. Everything that you see either on the media or on, so or on social media, um, it almost becomes irrelevant when you have a real person in front of you and you're having a, a conversation about the issues that impact them. Certainly a lot of people will talk about a major issue that we face and that's the affordability of Portland. The main goal we have is we want Portland to remain a city for everybody, we want Portland to be affordable, and we want it to be a place that we can all live and grow old and remain an Asian place. When a community has a conversation in an effort to have a shared understanding of the role of different services, um, when we call law enforcement to address an issue, we've realized that a lot of our societal issues, including homelessness, substance use disorders, these are health issues. These are not criminal issues. So we need to have a conversation as a community, like who do we call to address these, these uh, concerns? I don't like using terms like safe injection site. I like um, overdose prevention site, where a doctor's present. And if once you have these centers, that the folks, uh, the, the addicts and the users know that they can go. Once they're there, then they can meet the people, get the resources, get the information and the education. Without those, everyone's like, oh, they were just gonna keep doing drugs and it'll be bad. It was like, no, 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 they're gonna keep doing drugs if we don't do this. In one word, confusing, really confusing. When I go out and go canvassing, I've had a really poor canvassing experience because of a lot of the conversations that I've had and a lot of the racist, sexist, ageist comments that I've heard at the door on a regular basis. Running for local office and putting yourself out there in the public eye can be really concerning. We've seen it happen with other black uh, leaders that are women here in Portland. 